Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about how sensation goes from, for example, our hand or our feet and travels all the way up to our brain via the spinal cord. So first thing I wanna talk about is the hand. So if someone were to tickle your hand, for example, or slightly touch your finger, it's gonna stimulate receptors in your hand. These receptors pick up this fine touch and what they're going to do is they're gonna transmit a signal down that hand down the arm into the spinal cord. Now what happens here is that as soon as it enters the spinal cord, it transmits this signal straight up the same side of the spinal cord that it entered. So remember, what type of touch was this? This was fine touch or a gentle soft touch going up the spinal cord, up, 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 up until it hits our brain stem. Now our brain stem is made up of the midbrain, the topmost part, pons and the medulla, also known as the medulla oblongata. And at the medulla, it synapses with another neuron. What that means is this neuron's finished. It sends or passes on that signal to the second neuron. The second neuron at the medulla or the brainstem crosses to the other side. Now, once it crosses, it then continues to travel up, 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 up until it gets to a deep part of the brain called the thalamus. Now these two things here, this is called the thalamus, and it's the sorting center of the brain. Anytime information from the body wants to get to your brain for you to be aware of it, it must go through the thalamus. So it's like the post office, it's the sorting center. So there's a third neuron at the thalamus, which then gets the information, and it sends that information about fine touch of the hand to the part of our cortex of our brain that is actually mapped to the hand. We have a map of our entire body on our brain, where our hand is, our arm is, our body is, and the more sensitive that area of the body is, a larger area of the brain is dedicated to it. Okay, so our hand has a large area dedicated to it. Now this is the thing, this outer layer here that I've drawn here, that's called the cortex, it's only a couple of millimeters thick. If information gets to the cortex, you become aware of it. If it doesn't get to the cortex, you have no idea that it happened. So if someone's tickling your hand and you become aware, it's because this has happened. Down the arm, up the spinal cord, the same side, synapses with a second neuron at the brainstem, crosses, then goes up to the thalamus, synapses with the third neuron, and then goes to the hand, three neuron chain. Now this is for fine touch. What if somebody, right on the same finger, were to prick it with a pin? This is going to be pain, for example, and it stimulates pain receptors. I'll just draw it onto this finger, for example, and it sends a signal again down the hand, down the arm, into the spinal cord. Now, here's an important difference. Pain will synapse here at the spinal cord when it enters and cross over the other side. The second neuron is at the spinal cord, crosses to the other side, and then moves up the spinal cord on the opposing side, up, 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 bypasses the brain stem, doesn't care about that, but still must go to the thalamus. Why? Because you're always aware of pain, right? When you get a painful experience, or have a painful experience, you become aware of it because it must go to the thalamus. That then sorts it with the third neuron again, and throws it to the area of the brain that deals with the hand. But this time, you don't go, oh, somebody tickled my hand. You go, oh, somebody pricked my hand. This is important. Fine touch and pain travel up the spinal cord on opposing sides. And this is important when it comes to spinal cord injury because if somebody has a hemi section or a lesion or damage only to one side or one half of the spinal cord, there's going to be different sensory effects. I'll talk about that, it's called Brown-Saccard syndrome. 